In the last topic, we saw the apply function, and now we are going to study two important functions, l apply and s apply together in this current topic. Now, what do you mean by l apply? It is similar to apply function, but if you want the output in the form of a list, then you use a l apply function. So there is a basic two difference between l apply and apply function, which we saw in the last lecture. So when you want a uh, output as a list, that is one of the difference. Output as a list, then that's why in the front of apply you see l, then you use l apply. Another major difference between apply and and l apply is I discussed in the last topic apply you avoid using apply function for the data frames, right? So that's not the case for l apply. You can use for the data frames, you can use it for the vectors and so on and so forth, right? So this is what one of the important topic of the apply function that is l apply. So how it looks like? What's the structure? So its a uh, structure is very similar, and you see an x and you see a function. So there is no not much difference. The margin that was used in apply function has been removed. X is similarly a data, uh, uh, an array of, of data and a function that you want to use. Again, this function can be a user defined or which is predefined in R. Whenever you use L apply and you apply over the uh, different columns of an array, then it will try to coerce into matrix, apply the function, and return the data back into form of a list. Right, so this is one of the important function. But if if you do not want to return the data in the form of list, and you want to by, by default that it has to be, if I provide a matrix, output should be a matrix. If I provide a vector, output should be a vector. Then you use another function, and that we call as a s apply. This s apply is called as a wrapper function of l apply. So you can see there are four parameters here: x function simplify equals to. Uh, true, and the fourth function that is use dot names. So what is this s apply function? So whenever you say simplify equals to true, that is one of the parameter of s apply, then it will return an output in the form that is uh, by default. For example, if I give a data in a form of matrix, output will be form of matrix, right? If I form give a data in the form of list, output will be in the form of a list. So if it is possible to uh, Simplify the output. If it is possible to simplify in the in the most basic form, S supply can do that. Only in uh, the given condition when simplify equals to true is provided. So these are the two similar functions. S supply is also called as a wrapper function of L apply. But the only convenience by using S supply is it will give the output in the form of most simplified. It will give the output in the most simplified form. So this was these were the two functions of apply family. L apply and S apply. In the next topic, we will study the another topic of the same family. Then that is T apply.